life. The goal. So translation ready? Okay. A Brahman life and a goal and an aim is to become virtuous, become pure. Wait for translation. Okay. It's okay. Every day <clears throat> the practice of reading the Murli, listening the Murli, meditating, remembering Baba, we move closer to our goal, to our divinity, our purity, our divine virtues. When we come to Baba, we physically arrive into the center and then sisters or brothers introduce us or seven lessons and then we take a lesson in that lesson foreign we may be having different system but when we were growing up in Bharat India we had a system they show you the picture of Lakshmi and Narayan and then the teacher, sister will explain, this is why you are here, to become like this. Lakshmi and Narayan, all divine quality, complete, completely viceless, Mariada Purushottam, following all codes of conduct, 16 celestial degrees perfect. In Hindi it goes like this Sarvagun Sampan, Solakala Sampurna, Sampurna Nirvikari, Mariada Purushottam. That is our degree. And the, one of the main virtue topic we're taking is all divine qualities complete. Sarvagun Sampan. We have a number of virtues described. We have a number of books written on it. Bab Dada spoke. Avyakta Bab Dada. Dadis. So much depth. So much understanding how I can imbibe, what is the meaning, definition of particular virtues or values, qualities, peace and love and happiness and purity and patience and tolerance, contentment. Everybody knows, right? Today we are taking up the virtue is contentment, which is the, I would say, is the foundation, the base, if you're building a pillar, 
or a tree of virtues, qualities, contentment is needed in the bottom, on the foundation. Very, very important. There are two words. One is contentment. Another is satisfaction. Both are very close, but still one has more depth and more spiritual strength to it than satisfaction. Satisfaction comes from external things and stuff. You have a one tolly, then you have a two tollies, then you have a third tolly and I'm happy now. But if you like more than two or three, I wish I can have a more, means you are not contented. See, if you had your lunch full, your happy stomach is satisfied. But after that, if you still want more, it means you are not contented. What creates that? As we know, the root cause of all this not having divine qualities or virtues is body consciousness and vices. It's quite the opposite. Greed creates discontentment. Ego creates discontentment. Jealousy contains discontentment. Desire creates discontentment, right? All these vices would not allow us to be happy and full. Contentment is feeling full. We were in Delhi a few days ago and it was festival called Tashera. Have you heard about the Shira? Ravan burning ceremony, the ten-headed devil. After nine nights of goddesses, uh, worship and puja and ritual, the tenth day comes to have a statue burning of Ravan. So we were in uh, Om Shanti retreat place, as you know, Today just finished the first time interfaith, interreligious leaders dialogue, inner peace dialogue completed. There were about 40 leaders from 18 countries and talked on silence, talk on peace, exchange the ideas. So for beginning, we met in Delhi, and that's the day was Dashera. So they put up big, more than 20 foot tall Ravan's effigy. And in the evening, after we came back from meeting President of India, we had to have a celebration, so they arranged this celebration for us. Hmm? Om Shanti Retreat Place is a big place, so you can do that. Buildings are far and lots of lawn and garden open. How do they do is they have a big effigy, black, very ugly looking statue. 
and then they had an automatic remote so daddy pressed the remote and off it went all the fireworks started which was stuffed inside the effigy the statue of ram and and with bangs and with sound and with sparkles and throwing fires everywhere and the Raman statue burnt into pieces. And eventually the structure, the skeleton also fell down. Everybody rejoiced, danced, singing, ate lots of foods and were very happy. We only wish that happens with us just like that. You set the fireworks and all the vices are burned huh? right in front of you. And then we start singing and dancing and be happy. But it doesn't happen that way. We work, we practice, we meditate, we contemplate, we analyze all the things that we do in order to become divine. All divine qualities perfect, completely wiseless. We are at that stage in our Brahman life that contentment is very, very important. It comes from the core of our soul. You're just happy, you're contented, satisfied. Then only you can be happy. It's very, very important virtue to be contented. Otherwise, no matter what we get, how much we get, never enough. Boldly possessions, money, clothes, jewelry, name, fame, always wanted more and more. That's how we lived before Gyan. But those who have a contentment, the nature, the sanskaras, even if you give them a little, they can happy and enjoy. Oh, this is wonderful, thank you. But those who don't have that virtue, they always look next door. So he has a bigger piece of tolly than I got. Daddy loved them more than me. Or Baba gave more drishti to them. So we complain. And then what we get, we can't enjoy. What we receive, what Baba gives us, what life gives us, what service gives us, we cannot enjoy because we want always more, we become moreish, you know, more, more, more. And so this contentment and then distraction comes. Look around, comparison, possessions. Baba says, even if you have a, one more pair of shoes extra, you will remember at the end. Keeping things in mind, accumulation is opposite of contentment. Why we accumulate? Why we gather stuff and things? Because we think I might not have later. So we fill the closet and we fill the banks and we fill because we are 
afraid I might not have tomorrow or I like it. I'm attached like Baba said today. Shouldn't have attachment, shouldn't have attraction. And then only you experience the super sensuous joy. Then you become happy. The nature, the fruit of contentment is bliss and happiness. And as a Brahman, as a God's child, who has a right to all the treasures of God's, all the treasures and am I experiencing that? Do I have that? So what do I do to feel the contentment? Someday I feel and someday I not. Someday I want more and someday I want less. The day I feel full, I feel good. And the day I want more, I feel empty. You take, 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 and still it becomes empty, like a broken pot runs out. So intellect cannot hold, the soul cannot hold the treasure because of desires and greed. What Baba gives, no room. All the waste, all the garbage, all the things, and then you have to have a worry, tension to look after it. Two days ago, Baba said, if you wear good clothes, you have to take care of them. You will think somebody should look at it, admire it. So you remain simple. Because that's not in the Happiness is not in, in, in the clothing or what you wear, or, but it's in the soul. Contentment is the core of the soul. That, yes, okay, I got everything, Baba. Nothing I want more. You're in ecstasy. What Baba gives, it's, he gives full. If ordinary person gives, very limited because his thing goes first to himself and then he will offer to other person. But Baba does not need anything, he doesn't want anything. All the things for children. But if I don't have a room in my soul because I am collecting all other stuff into my soul, then I can't hold what Baba gives me. So what is the process? How I can feel contented? How can I hold my contentment? What is the process to get the rubbish out or to allow the power of Baba into me. So rubbish goes automatic out. The flow of knowledge runs through me. So the rubbish gets washed away. So should I do that? Or should I working on, okay, I shouldn't have a this, I should not have attachment, I should not have a things, I should not, you yeah, know, wanting more. So what happens that the effort becomes harder? There is a story. There's a big family in a village they were farmers, joint family. They 
work hard in their farm. And the end of the day, they come home and house is dark. So they take the brooms and baskets and try to chase that darkness out of the house. So they work during the day in the farm and in the house during the night to get the dark out with brooms and baskets. They work so hard, they were so tired. So the youngest son got married and a daughter-in-law comes in the house. And they all went to work in a farm. They came home. Everybody started brooms and baskets and she said, what are you doing? Said our house is filled with darkness. We have to take it out so we have a light in them. She said, oh, she was very sensible, very wise girl. So she said, oh, you look all tired by chasing the dark out. I'm new I'm, and I'm supposed to work now. So you all, I'm youngest, so you all go to sleep and I will chase the dark out. They were so happy and relieved. We all gone to bed. And she, after that she gone to bed too. And they wake up in the morning and the house was bright and shiny. Sun came out. So what does it mean? We don't need to work hard, spiritual effort, but just wait for the sun. And all the rubbish, that is why we meditate in the morning. That is why we read early, we study, come to Madhuban, sit in front of Baba, so automatic vibrations, the atmosphere, what that is giving us, what Baba is showering on us, the sun of knowledge, the darkness goes away. I don't have to do anything, only don't fall asleep. We can't fall asleep, can we? Otherwise we will have a darkness in the soul. So we have to work in a positive way. We have to work in a way that we enjoy the process. At the same time we attaining our attainment, we attaining our goal. So life becomes very enjoyable. BK life, Brahman life becomes happy and joyous and light. Because if I work day and night, during the day we have to do jobs, and during the night we chase the darkness out. So we are exhausted. Present time, the BK life is facing, not everybody, hmm? but many, hmm? is tiredness. Daddy Janki was explaining, why are we tired? Hmm? Because we work through the brain, not through the heart. What we do, hmm? We put so much energy, rather than living on Baba, 
another way of to be contented is whatever baba wants he will get it done he will give me and if i don't get it means i don't need it we ask daddy said even i never ask from god even before gyan never in the prayer that god give me this and god give me that it's not dignified automatically i receive i open my heart i open my soul i remain ready and baba knows in bhakti too people remind god give me do give me that you are the merciful one you are the generous one you are the peaceful one huh? give me peace give me love give me lottery it means we remind god give me this that another doesn't he know what he supposed to do if some people hmm, tell you often and often do this do that huh? we get upset don't we do this you know take children to school or cook food or clean the floor or have you done that or please do it 10 times you know or first thing in the morning we get annoyed don't we we keep huh? even very humble way somebody tells over and over nobody likes that so doesn't baba know what he has to give us he knows what are my needs i think i need this that and other but baba knows better so what do i need maybe it's my desire is not my need but we forget we think it's my need it's not desire so we get confused that what baba said this morning too so we have to know it's really i need and if you ask baba he will tell you he will intervene i have a many many times experience that even physically he will hold your hand huh? and guide you child you don't need that he will save energy time money everything many times in a physical very ordinary task even in a split of a second baba changes your mind if you allow baba to do that once i was in the shop glasses shop and mine was a little broken here so i thought oh might as well get new one i was looking in the down in a cupboard there were all kinds of frames and attractive things down there so i i put my head down and looking so i can have a nice expensive glasses and it was little broken here so by the time the girl comes to help you i i thought i will last you know was most nice expensive one so i i she came and she said can i help you i said yeah and then i lift my head up i was going to tell her to give me that frame instead by just lifting head like this i said this is my glasses little broken here can you do about it something she said oh oh yes i can do that and so she took it to get inside and change little slipper we call it <laughs> and even she didn't charge me so i said i was going to pick that and by lifting it takes only few seconds to lift my head baba caught my tongue 
And instead of asking that, I said, can you fix this? <laughs> and so if you are really surrendered, if you are really wants the right path to follow, right way to lead your life, you stay open. You, your line of intellect, like Daddy Janki always says, line of intellect has to be clear with Baba. So he gives the touchings. Then we don't have to sit for hours and hours finding where is Baba, huh? pulling intellect here, there and everywhere. But keeping the line connected. And how can I do that? Why we do not feel inside the core from my bottom of my heart, my soul, contented, deep down, grounded? Because you know what happens? We are connected with past, present and future. Eternally connected. So if I want to experience contentment, satisfaction is easy to be satisfied. Okay, you explain to your mind, oh gee, you don't need this many shoes, or you don't need to eat that much, or you don't need more than one car, or you know, you're satisfied, you're happy. But internally experience the contentment, well, how do I? Because when you are content, you are, in the most state of bliss and happiness and in the peace. But if I am connected, pulled by past and future, I want golden palaces and past somebody took my palace away and Ravan hit me hard. And so the present time, what Baba is giving me, I can't enjoy that. It's not to just forget past and future, but to live in now. Not to get disconnected with past and a future, but disassociate. Because to disconnect means it's unreal. We are connected. We are connected with past, present and a future. It's a cycle, eternal cycle. So I can't not say, I cannot I say that, oh, I don't have a past. I don't have any future, I am now. That's illusion. But that's equally true, the now is now. The moment is mine and is gone already. If I didn't pick it up, if I don't enjoy it, if I didn't feel it, I forgot. You put tolly in your mouth and how much time the taste, there is only one taste bird, one point in the whole tongue. And when the tolly passes through that, that's the only time you enjoy. Rest of the time you have to chew and swallow, you know, all the work. But we allow that point and if that point doesn't work, you don't want to eat. Because your taste bud not giving you any taste. So the moment now is like that test board. In old-fashioned gramophone, remember those needle goes round the disc, huh? and whether the needle hits, the sound comes. Yeah, anybody know that? Now we live in a different world. The CDs and DVDs and all the tape recorder. But when we were growing up, we had a big disc, and then we have a gramophone, Baba. In Om Shanti Bhavan, uh, I mean, in the history hall, there was an old-fashioned gramophone, and you wind and you wind, and then you put the big, this size is only plays three minutes, but such a big disc, and you put the needle, and when needle hits, only that sound comes, but the rest is all recorded, unless the needle hits that time, the music comes out. Exactly the time needle hits now, the moment, and music comes out. 
But if we are di distracted, means try to connect what will happen in the future, even a good thing will happen in the future. Or what happened in the past, good or bad, I'm missing that line where his time is hitting, that moment. And I am not enjoying the music. The sound comes not very pretty. Did you see last night how they were in tune? Music and sound and movement. Now, each step, each step was bliss. Each step was fulfilling. For them, it was filling the soul. Through art, they were filling their soul. They're becoming contented. Until they make a right step, they weren't happy. Until they heard right sound, right microphone, they weren't happy. Because it didn't make huh, perfect sound, perfect rhythm. Then you enjoy. So this is the way huh, we live because we are aware. We are in a confluence. Kaliyu and Satyu in the middle. For us, it's a confluence. For people, it's Kaliyu. They are in a darkness, searching, crying, calling, now more than ever before. Baba says, haven't you heard? Baba sent a message to religious leaders. And Baba said, don't you hear the cries of the people, how unhappy they are? What are you doing for them? Mm -hmm. But if I am crying, how can I hear other people's cry? Mm -hmm. And I'm Baba's child, I'm awake, I have a knowledge. So feel that contentment is to become disassociated with past and the future and experience the moment now. So we do not carry. When we used to meet Brahma Baba, you feel a child comes in Baba's room, sits, Baba gives drashti, totally everything. And you think Baba came down on earth just for me. Your little girl, you take drishti, Baba loves you. And you think just Baba came down on earth for you. Because total attention to the child. The make that moment best. But if you start thinking, Baba is there to give you. And if you start thinking how the room looked like, what Baba was wearing, you know. <laughs> you're afraid or whatever, then you miss that. But total attention Baba gave to the child, and child thinks he's only mine, nobody else. I, I belong to him, and he belongs to me. You go out and another child comes, feel the same thing. What is that? That that moment, because Baba cannot do any other business, can't meet anyone else, but he is right there. Even two minutes. We used to have a personal drishti and a meeting with Avyakta Bab Dada. Hmm? Few seconds, but the quench, hmm? thirst, is quenched in that few seconds of drishti because, but if you look around, I didn't get space, so you know, I'm not close enough, then you miss. And then you are unhappy, you are not satisfied. So living in a present time like that, you can absorb more, you can hear more, you can concentrate more, Otherwise, intellect runs here and there. Not only just contentment, but you do not experience any of the virtues. 
of the soul. Any of the qualities, peace, silence, huh? purity, because it's a present condition of the soul that I want to experience. And I am not affected my previous life or life before. Or I am not just dreaming about golden age because it's now for me. Our first birth already started, isn't it? We are now here. Why not enjoy the life? Why, whilst we are in Madhuban, that's what we do. Because we don't have a jobs, we don't have to cook, we don't have to clean, we don't have a center's responsibility. So Daddy says, take benefit. Two days ago she said, please experience silence. What does that mean? We do not experiment and experience enough. We have to experience and experiment. We sit down and I take a point. Very good exercise you know, comes when we want to experience virtues. Because of our background, we carry with that when we come to Madhuban, we come to center and all that. You know? So what we hear from Baba, we don't hear 100%. So we want to hear, there is a book on virtues of soul. Have you seen that book? Hmm? Very nice book, has a Lakshmi Narayan's picture on it. I was going to show you, but I left it <laughs> on my way somewhere. And in that book, what Baba said, Avyakta Baba Dada said, about each virtue. Definition of virtue, how to imbibe that virtue, how to experience that, and Baba's words. So what happens that our intellect has many things inside, our education, our background, scholars, and we hear things, we read things, and on that base, we analyze, including Murli point, including Daddy's point. And then we sit in meditation and try to experience that. Now our intellect starts working to analyze in, with those influences. Baba said today, shouldn't have any influences. So in that book, all the points of that particular virtue, you pick the virtue and Baba says all the things on that. So it is purely Baba's influence on my intellect. It's not anyone else's influence, but it's totally Baba's, a pure Influence the purest because no one is not having any kind of influence. It's not possible that I am not in, un, under any influence. Even hot and cold and light and dark and good and bad and food and clothing and people and friends and gurus and scriptures and science. We are un, always under impression of one thing or the other. Child cries. Immediately mother feels sorry for child and runs, you know. So we are always pulled. We are always under influence. Science says there is 24 hours in the day. So we are under that influence. It could be whole day. It used to be only half and half, you know, before. But we accept. Now we want to clean our intellect totally. It means I want to feel, I cannot be empty. In a Buddhism yoga, huh, you have to be empty, clear. But then what? 
You cannot remain empty for a long time. So you have to have a something and a replacement which effort becomes real and natural. So you read all the points what Baba gave. You choose in the morning which virtue I need. Today is contentment. What did Baba say in the contentment? What does it mean in, with Baba's words? Not any scholar's words. Not any person, human being's words. Because when we analyze that way, we have that impact on our soul. So it's not absolutely God's idea. It's a human idea. So we take it from Baba, read it, think about it, analyze it, but on that line, on that point. Point of Murli's point, that Baba spoke. And then try to experience. And when we experience that, that's the purest, real, natural, not only just experience, but that experience is permanent. You can never forget that because it's given by Baba. It's not given by any human being. It's God-given gift. How can you lose it? How can you forget it? Even it's a split of a second. I got, I become contented. And then you feel that. You feel the feeling of I got the whole world. When Baba, huh? Sakar Baba, in the beginning stories, you must have heard that whatever I wanted to have, I found it. Pana tha so paliya, ab kaam kya baki raha. The lost diamonds and shops and business. He was happy and joyous and singing, dancing, you know, all in ecstasy. Because became contented. Can my feet start dancing like that? Baba didn't think future, Baba didn't think past. He left. He didn't count huh? how much <laughs> I have. No, because the spiritual power, the spiritual experience of gaining the, ex the feeling of internal joy and enlightenment was so profound that hmm? Baba wrote a telegram hmm? that I, le I left a donkey ship behind me and now I'm going to serve God. Hmm? A dogly job I gave up, hmm? a godly job I am doing. And then Baba came home. And that's why we are here. So if one soul could do that. Daddy was just talking to a religious leader. That Daddy says, if I, huh, contemplating and doing Baba's service, huh, and how many souls are touched. Huh, so now it is everyone's duty huh, to experience and then give to others. But if I'm not uh, contented, how can I give to others? Because morsel comes, food comes in my plate and I'm hungry, it goes automatic into my mouth. It will not go to other people's mouth because I need it, I want it. So when we go beyond and trust Baba, have a faith that whatever I need it, Baba will provide. So many stories, I give you a very funny story. What happened, um, I live in San Francisco and about 
30, more, not more than 30, but more than 25 years ago story. We, it was first center in America and I was there. Um, we had a one room, literally one room. Like, you know, that's Yagya system. <laughs> you don't start with this big, start with <laughs> small. So it was a one room apartment and uh, students started to come. And um, we needed a bigger place. It means bigger money. <laughs> Where will that come from? <laughs> and so, but if Baba wants, we had just faith. If Baba wants, Baba will provide. Why we worry? Our job is to find a bigger place. That's it. Because lots of people started to come. They are still with us uh, 25 years. And so we were looking for a place and looking and nobody gives us place because we were very new and need lots of money and then we found a place that was suitable for a small size center. But they needed a first month rent, the last month rent, and a deposit, <laughs> and a present month rent. So it made lots of money, which we didn't have. Then we meditated, uh, said, and if Baba wants, Baba will get it. So we were just meditating. The owner kept calling us that you want it or not. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, we want. We want the place. And then we were meditating and then we had to go out. So we um, went out and we had an old car. So we saw the note on the car that public bus, you know, street bus, hit the car. So he left the note that I hit your car, but your car was six inches out of the space, so you, you don't claim anything from us because it was your fault that you didn't park the car right. All right, <laughs> one thing we need money, another thing, there somebody hit the car the bus. So we, we thought, all well, drama, what can we do? Then we went to uh, um, some service that same day. We took the car and it wasn't big damage anyway. So we went and parked the car outside again and went inside the building for a service. And when we come out, what we saw, that a big dent in a car and a big note from the same bus company that I hit your car, this is our number, our insurance will take care of it. <laughs> so we claimed the insurance and it brought exactly same amount of money which we needed to put on a deposit to get Baba's place. And the brothers fixed the car. So we saved the money. First time it didn't hit hard. Second time, isn't it miracle? Same bus company. If it's a private citizen, he won't even bother. But it's a big company and it's a city company, so they they have a, already everything set up, don't have to fight for it. But Baba needed it. And it's a city, it's not a private, huh? so you don't feel bad with that. <laughs> because they have a system set up, if they do accident, they have to pay. And we fixed, so it's nothing illegal that happened. Huh? Everything, brothers should have said charge us to fix, but they didn't. So we saved and we put it in deposit uh, house. So you see how Baba works in a very mundane way even sometimes if you really needed something. 
we didn't complain. Baba, now how are we going to do it? No, we just said, okay, Baba, this is it. <laughs> and so, many mysterious ways, if I really believe, if I have a deep down faith that yes, if Baba wants, then he will give me. Why should I worry? Then contentment comes. And then we enjoy life even in a little thing. But if I am jealous, uh, looking at others, then I don't enjoy what Baba gives me. So, easiest way to enjoy BK life, uh, yogi life, or uh, any life, to be contented, to be satisfied. Fine, thank you. Hmm? If somebody offers you a small gift with hard love, hmm, you're happy. Thank you. Then sometimes you get millions and you're not happy. Hmm? You think that they might have given two. Hmm? So then I didn't want that gift, I wanted this gift. Small, small matters uh, makes us unhappy and discontented. So the Brahman life, contentment is the foundation, the confluence, age, treasure. And when you are contented, you become peaceful, you become happy, you become blissful, everything makes sense, everybody is happy around you. You don't demand from others, yeah? no expectation. All these small things, because loss, anger, greed, attachment, we gave up already. But these small, small things, creepy crawlies, you know, they go away automatically. So according to time, this is very important to experiment. So whilst you are here, take a virtue and go through study before you sit in meditation that what Baba told on this subject. Because without thinking, intellect becomes dull. We have to think. We can't just become blank and not think. So what to think? What Baba gave me thought, seed, it's just a seed. And that seed creates a big whole new world, but with that pure seed, not given by anybody else seeds. We have so many seeds planted and look what happened to the world. Became forest and burning and drowning and all kinds of things, shaking and happening. Now we planting pure seeds, Baba given seeds. So it has a foolish last for two ages and almost all cycle. So we are in Madhuban, we take our time. The morning, Murli, Daddy was telling her the other day that she says, I used to tell, take a three points from the Murli. But now I tell, ten points. Hmm? Take a ten points from the Murli, because it's a Murli. Daddy goes on and on about Gyan, where that flow comes from the Murli. She, she never misses the Murli. Before she comes in the morning, she reads Murli. Without Murli? No, because it's Baba's versions on my head, nothing else. So if I allow Baba to fill my treasure, then automatically the rubbish goes out. We don't have to chase them out, because that's my effort, effortless effort. And then we enjoy sunshine, light. So Madhuban's time is very precious time. We came from far, far away. 
lots of effort, lots of expense. Hmm? It's not to go here, there, hmm? but take a full benefit. So powerful atmosphere. The religious leaders who came for the dialogue, hmm? journey was difficult. But once they arrive, they thought it's worth it. Because you have a conference in a big halls and you have a conference in commercial places, but atmosphere, ready-made. Here, if you don't want to remember Baba, you will. In the cities, we have to try. But here, we take a benefit of it. So today is contentment time, to be contented, and then you'll be happy forever. So let's meditate on that, okay? Be in now, and just dislocated from your mind everything. Tomorrow, next, when I will go from here, that even don't need to think, and just be. Emerge your content self and try to experience that. Baba, thank you. I have everything. You gave me so much. My soul is happy and full. I don't need anything. I don't desire anything. I feel full. And prosperous. Unfortunate. 